Hi, this is John Kovach of Fly Water Travel. In this video, I'm going to talk about Gardens of the King, Cuba. Jardines del Rey means Gardens of the King in Spanish and it refers to an archipelago off Cuba's north central coast. This is a great destination to go in Cuba if you're into fishing or if you want to go to a destination that's great for non-anglers. Here you stay in beautiful land-based resorts. They're all-inclusive resorts. It has some of the most beautiful beaches in Cuba and all of the, uh, all the Caribbean for that matter. And when you're there as a non-angler, you've got access to lots of things, beautiful pools as well, lots of bars and different restaurants. And you have the ability to go on excursions like snorkel trips and sailing trips and the like. But of course, it's a great destination for anglers. Now, specifically, it's a great tarpon destination. So let me talk about why that is. Guides tell me that the habitat here is really incredible for one reason, that there are these massive areas, and you'll see them in this, um, this uh, overhead satellite shot, between the Cuban mainland and the islands themselves that are shallow, massive mud flats. And these habitats are great nurseries for crabs and shrimp, apparently, to grow up. Now, with the movement of those critters and with tide and wind, they get pushed into deeper water, channels and lagoons, and then they're eaten by other fish, particularly tarpon. And that, they say, the guides do, is why tarpon are here all year long. So one thing to understand about this destination is that it has tarpon all year long, but so do other places like Zapata and Gardens of the Queen on Cuba's South Shore. But in those destinations, during winter months, the tarpon that are there are maxing out at maybe 25 pounds or so. Where here at Gardens of the King, it keeps some big fish all year long, up into the 50 and even 60 pound category. Now, if you went to Gardens of the King in the winter months, November, December, January, February, your guides typically will pull flats. And they're going to be pulling flats that are three and four feet deep on the lookout for tarpon, all sight fishing. And the reason for that is although the tarpon like to feed in the deeper area, they will come onto the flats in the winter where the water is a little bit warmer because they really do like that. And so it's, it's a way for them to, to kind of regenerate. And other fish like to do the same thing. So permit like to do the same thing. But in any case, it's all sight fishing and you might catch fish that are 30, 40, and even 50 and 60 pounds doing this. Now, the fishing, fishing changes pretty dramatically in the spring. As the days get longer, and the days get warmer, the water warms up in those deeper areas. And the resident tarp and the tarpon that have been there all year long move into those deeper areas. And they are then joined by migratory fish. So this area sees a big influx of bigger fish during the months of April, May, and June. And they typically will stay around through the course of the whole summer and into the fall. Now, one other thing about this is that the migratory fish that show up here have some of the biggest fish that show up anywhere around Cuba. So although you get migratory fish in other places, you see the biggest that come into this area of Gardens of the King. Um, my guide, I think last time I was there, told me the biggest fish he'd seen in his boat was 180 pounds. Now, that's huge. You catch a lot of 50, 60, 70 pounds here on average. Now, a typical day in the spring or summer of peak season, your guide will take you into a deeper lagoon channel or even the opening to the ocean and they know these are areas where the tarpon like to congregate. They'll look for rolling tarpon. If you see them, you'll intercept them. If you don't see them, you'll still cast. You'll use intermediate sinking lines and sink tip lines searching for tarpon. Now, like tarpon fishing anywhere, you can have days when you don't hook any fish. It can be the tarpon are off the bite or for some reason they just weren't there. But you can also have crazy gangbuster days where you, when you hook five or six or ten or even a dozen fish on the course of a day. It can really be that good. Good. Now there are other fish here, but I again want to stress that this is largely a tarpon fishery. So if we looked at other fish like bonefish, there are absolutely lots of bonefish here, but it doesn't have a great um, area of massive flats that you can pull and look for bonefish, right? There are also lots of permit here, but the guides tell me that the permit here act very much like the tarpon do. So that although they're on the flats at certain times of the year, a lot of the times they're on the flats to, again, do what the tarpon do, get the sun, and then they'll move back into deeper water to actually feed. The best uh, permit fishing here 
is in calm days in deeper water when you see schools of permit near the surface and you can cast at them, sight cast at them and there are, there are some really huge permit here. It doesn't mean you can't catch them on the flats, you can, but a lot of the fish are caught in these deeper bays. There are also lots of big jacks and big snapper here. On occasion you will sight fish for them. You might be to channel and see feeding jacks. Um, Jack Creval or even big yellow jacks or, and other species of jacks as well. And you might push onto one of the exterior flats here on the ocean side looking for a permit and you might encounter big mutton snapper. And there are some really huge mutton snapper here that you can sight cast too. But just to sum up, Guards of the King is really special for a couple of different reasons. One is it's a great destination to go to where both anglers and non-anglers alike will really enjoy it. Secondly, it's a destination that has larger than average tarpon every month of the year. So these are bigger fish than you get in places where they just have resident tarpon. And then during the tarpon migration of the spring and summer, it sees the biggest tarpon that gather around the Cuban island. So if tarpon are something that you really love or you're looking for a destination where you could bring non-anglers, Gardens of the King should be at the top of your list. Mm -hmm.